just our application, it was really good lead in um, to the game. There was a lot of guys just focused in. I thought probably last week was a little bit more distractions uh, leading into the first game, but I think the guys were very professional on the lead into the game and, and carried that over from shoot around this morning, really focused and locked in. And um, yeah, I thought we uh, did a really good job on the scout. Yeah, I thought he was outstanding for that uh, physical, you know, in the contest. He owned that space around him where he was able to get, um, you know, hold his ground against the bigger, taller opponents. And he showed, you know, some glimpses of there really good in the bright lights. We see it at practice all the time, but it was really good. His work ethic on the glasses, first class, same as Majuk. He came on and just did the work ethic those two guys did on the glass, um, you know, gave us that extra possessions uh, in the game. Yeah, from that pair compared to last week, it was massive as far as the state's mm. concerned. Is you put that down to work ethic from last week compared to this week? Or what do you think is different? Yeah, well, I think just with Dario, he got in foul trouble. You know, there was a couple of little titchy touch fouls and still getting uh, accustomed to the NBL and Australian style of playing. and. Um, you know, and he's done that pretty well. So, you know, I was pleased with tonight. And he was, you know, he got fouled seven times out there too, going to the bucket. So that was that was a good focus for us. We spoke a lot about defence following last week's game. Mm. And there were some improvement areas. How did you assess the defence tonight, especially over those middle two quarters when it seemed like we didn't take Yeah, I think at the end of the first quarter, I think we held him. I think it was a 19-7 run to finish that first quarter off that really got us that uh, separation in front and then the second quarter really clamped down and um, dried up the easy points that we talked of. And the guys are on song like that, you know, when they got so many scorers like Brooks, Blanchfield, um, you know, they can rack off points in a hurry and I thought our perimeter defense did an outstanding job on that. Right, so you had, you had the, the ball and shooting in the first half then you turned to the assisting side of things because we saw last year. Was that a conscious decision to Mix it up for yourself, <clears throat> no, it's just about reading and reacting with the defense. Uh, first half, I was able to get some open looks. Guys were setting pretty good screens. And then after that, in the second half, I got a little bit more defensive attention. So that left guys open. And, um, you know, I'm not a selfish player. If I see somebody open, I'm always find them if I can. What's the mindset for us when you see a couple of those shots go down? You see like, taking guys off the dribble and then I suppose when things are working, feeling in a game, is that the most likely of? Um, I mean, whether they're going down or not, the mindset is always attack because, you know, sometimes it may be a play there for me, but a lot of times as well, having the mindset looking to score, um, you create plays for other players. So um, I think that's a, a big role for me on this team, you know, not only to, you know, try to get my open looks, but uh, expanding my role as far as being a great distributor uh, whenever that's needed throughout the game. Well, yeah, just our application, you know, and I think, you know, just on Bryce, he was really focused in at, uh, you know, warm-ups and I knew he was going to go pretty well, just how he was locked in. So it's good when he's aggressive like that and uh, Tariko didn't shoot the ball that well in the second half and then the uh, third quarter he got going with a couple of threes and it's good to have that perimeter one-two punch out there. And, you know, it was a step forward for us. It was uh, last week we only played two quarters. I thought tonight we played a good solid four solid quarters of uh, basketball. What sort of distractions are you talking about, Bush? We were going pretty early tonight, but then the call on what, was, what happened last week then? Oh, I just, you know, and then you get the banner coming down and, yeah. you know, it's the uh, first game. There's a lot of new people first time in there and there's, there's a lot of, um, you know, added things going on. And I thought tonight that we were really locked into what we needed to do as a team. And, um, you know, it's a credit to the guys, their professionalism. Thirty and a half thousand Yeah, I thought. Well, I was only concerned of stopping him. You know, not really looking at his flashy stuff. And I thought we did a really good job. Obviously, he's got a very high IQ. You know, he still um, he can get the ball to people. And I thought uh, we did a really good job of locking his options off and really starving that coming through. But uh, look, he's he's young and. You know, waiting for his body to grow in to be a man, and um, but his his IQ is is way up there. Can you comment on as well? What's the 
what you saw on the court tonight is enough. I mean, same <clears throat> same thing Coach said, you know, despite how young he is, you can tell the upside he has, and um, he's already got some game with him, but you can definitely see the upside, but uh, whenever you step between the white lines, no matter who it is, you got to treat every player and every team the same, and, you know, our goal is to just, you know, try to, try to stop the whole team, and he's a big focal part of that, but uh, I think we did a great job with our game plan, but, you know, he still is a good player, though. Thanks, we got a team contributing. So, like, Rice was five in the second half, and Mikay hasn't scored at halftime. Yep. Still win quite a bit. But do you feel as though the loads able to be shared by a few more this year already? Just two games in. Uh, yeah. Look, at the, the the strength of our team is we've got unselfish players, you know, and they're not they're not in it to try to drop thirty. If Bryce wanted to drop thirty, he could have quite easy. No one would have, you know, batted an eyelid to it. But it's. It's how the team plays together. You know, we've got to get better as a team, defensively better as a team. If there's a trap, what's our counters, uh, and get some rhythm out there. And that's that's when you get a team playing in its peak. And I thought we took a step towards that today. And, um, you know, we've still got some young guys, uh, you know, two games old, and never played Wildcats before. So, but certainly they took a step in the right direction. You talked to Dario. Yeah, I mean, I would say, obviously, <clears throat> this is his second game of the season. Um, he had a little bit of foul trouble the first time, but when he was able to play freely, um, you know, we are able to see what he can do. And as Trev said, it's, it's not a surprise. You know, we see him do it in practice, but as he continues to get accustomed to the style of play out here, I, I feel he's going to continue to have uh, great games like this because this is, you know, what we brought him in for, and he's, he's really uh, gelling right now. Good. Thanks, guys. Cheers.